My name is Corey Silve. I'm Ashton's uncle. What's your job in the uh, Toughness, keeping Ashton mentally ready for the fight like I've done all his fights. So I go in and I just talk to him and let him hit me, do little things and, and promote him and show him that he's the one to make it happen. All the kids are going to make it happen, but he's the one who seems like right now is, is, is for him. So I, I promote him like that. Um, booty. <laughs> you get your booty. There you go. There you go. There you go. You done? You still holding your range because you got the jab. Right. Oh my god, you want everything. What do you want? Come past that and fuck you up. Talk to me about his little sister. How has it been having her in camp? A big motivation. Like, she makes the workout. Like, when you see the fighter having fun working out because a, a baby is taking joy in what we do for a living, that's beautiful. I never had that in my camp. Yeah, what, what about this? He not, he not, oh, three or four different looks and counters of like what the hook? Yeah, you know how you always, I guess you raise oh, like that. Oh yeah, you always have three or four different looks. Mm -hmm. I just put it down for everybody okay. to know. Uh -huh. You already, yeah. bro, you were raised you, on this shit. But you leaving this here? Are you taking a picture or something? Or? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in your room. Uh, Make sure this stays in your room. So yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, what's going on? My name is Eric Kamenag, also known as Eric Rehab. I'm a sports rehab therapist, also strength and conditioning coach for Ashton. I got introduced to Ashton about three years ago from a buddy of mine, his name is Mark Matsumoto. What brought me on to getting into the sports rehab scene was I played professional basketball in the Philippines in 2007. After I figured it wasn't for really for me, I just decided to pursue a degree and that's what got me into sports rehab. I be learning too because I'm working on stuff myself. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm not always like, you know, dumb it down. Yeah. Say if I'm sparring John, we're not about to be like, you know, yeah, like banging each other. Sure. Even though we touch, I'm pretty gonna learn stuff because the jab is long, so I'm learning how to like work on something big. Yeah. He probably gonna learn how to work on small because I'm small, you know? You don't have to always be banging. And a lot of the time, sometimes you do get hit clean because you run into it. And that's the worst one. I imagine we're going all out and run into it. That's like a knockout. My name is Jesse White. Man, I mean, I've been knowing the kid since he was seven, so I got a lot of stories. Um, my first serious talk with him, he was seven. It was right after we trained, and I realized this kid is different at seven. I saw it. His coordination was better than I ever seen at that age. And this was before he really got good. I just saw his coordination, and I, I had a talk with him to let him know, you, you're it. So he was listening to me and he, tears was coming out his eyes. He just, he was looking at me seriously and tears just start coming out his eyes. And I looked at his dad, I was like, Ivan, he okay? He's like, no, he good, keep talking. That's just what he do when he's serious. 